Okay, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and I hope you are doing uh, fine, and I hope that you are safe wherever you are today. Okay, so for today's lesson, we have two syllable words, okay? This is our topic for uh, grade 3 English, week number 6, okay? We are now on week number 6, okay? Now, what is a two-syllable word? So, what are two-syllable words? Okay, that is what we are going to find out in the following slides. Now, are you ready to learn? If you are ready, then let's go. This lesson focuses on reading words, phrases, and sentences composed of two syllable words. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to read words, phrases, and sentences composed of two syllable words. Okay, now, uh, this lesson will make you familiarize with the uh, two syllable words no we in our daily lives in our daily communication with talking and dealing with people we often or we almost always use these two syllable words now this lesson will make you uh, focus on reading those words phrases and of course sentences so that you can easily identify the words that are two syllables. Okay. Um, to add more, uh, we divide words into syllables by listening to the vowel sound. Okay. Uh, listen to the sound of the short a. Uh, okay. F e. O, U, no? So, the sound of the uh, vowels. And the uh, words, ayun. as I have said earlier, the words are divided according to the sound of the vowels. And that is what we call syllabication. Okay? Now, to have more uh, examples, we have this... Uh, let us go to the following slides. Okay, let us do this learning task first. Okay, choose from the box below a two-syllable word that describes each picture. Now, write the correct answers in your notebook. Okay. Uh, for this activity, I'll just give you a uh, minute, no? a minute and a half okay. uh, to do this activity. This is quite an easy activity. Uh, some of these uh, pictures are very much familiar to you. Okay. Uh, What do you call the first object? And what do you call the second object? The third object? The fourth? And the fifth object? Which is very scary. Okay. We still have time. Please choose and write the, uh, the, the correct answer
Okay, thirty seconds left. Okay, time is up. Okay, the answer for this one, this is called, uh, this is called a basket. Right, that is a basket. Okay, for the next picture, of course, we all know this one. This is a ribbon. For the next uh, object, it's called a mitten. Okay. For the fourth object, that is obviously a funnel. Right. This is a funnel. And this one, kids, is a Coffee, right. So again, the words are basket, ribbon, mitten, tunnel, coffin. Okay. If you look, uh, if you listen uh, carefully, or if you listen closely, uh, in the word coffin, you can hear that there are two vowel sound, the O sound and the E sound, coffin. On the second word, the mitten, we have the E sound and the E sound, okay, mitten. Ten. Okay. On the uh, third word, the ribbon, again, we also have two vowel sounds that can be heard, which is the uh, short E and the short O. No? So we read it as ribbon. Okay, for the fourth word, we have basket. Of course, the obvious vowel sound are the sound A uh, and the sound E. Eh, basket. And for the last picture, we have the vowel sound U and E. Eh, for tunnel. Right? Okay. Uh, having two vowel sounds. If the word have two vowel sounds, we consider it as two syllable word okay for the learning task number two read the words below and count and write the numbers of syllable for each word in your notebook okay for the first word we have notebook for the second word, we have picture. For the third word, we have pencil. For the fourth word, we have paper. And for the last word, we have car. We'll give you uh, two minutes to answer that uh, learning task. Again, if we are num uh, if we are counting the number of syllables, we just listen to the vowel sound. The number of the vowel sound of the word is also the number of its syllable.
okay times up now let us try to answer the learning task okay for number one how many syllables are there for number one we have two syllables okay why two there are three vowels yes there are three vowels but there are only two vowel sounds the sound of o in notebook again the sound of o in note and the sound of u in book so one two this is the o sound okay and o sound while well, this one have the o sound Okay, uh, let's just clean up this one. Okay, we have the O sound and the U sound. Okay, so we have one and two syllables. Now, okay, the, the, the E doesn't have a sound on this word. Okay, so... E is not counted. Uh, number two word, we have picture. Uh, as you can hear, as you, as you can hear, there are only two syllables. Okay? They may be three vowels, but the sound are only two. The E and the U. The E doesn't have, or the letter E on the last word does not have a sound. No? Does not have a sound. No? So we read this as pick, sure. No? Pick, sure. So there is no E sound in the uh, ending of the word. So number three, we have pencil. Okay, this is basic. There is two or there are two syllable in the word pencil. We have the E for pen and the E for seal. Okay. Pen, seal. Right. Now for the fourth word, we have paper. Again, there is only two syllables. We have the A for P and we have the E for per. A per. Again, we are counting the sound of the vowel as we syllabicate. Now, for the last word, we have one syllable. Okay, car. There's only one vowel sound. Car. So, I hope you have uh, learned it or you already have some idea on how to count the vowel sound and how to count the syllables. Okay? Uh, although there are many vowel letters in a word, uh, some of these letters does not have a sound. Just like for the na example number one notebook, there is only an O sound and an U sound. There is no E sound. Okay, now let us move on with our next test. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to explain to you this one. To read a long word easily, 
use syllabication. Syllabication is used to divide the words into small parts called syllables. A two syllables with short vowel sound referred to a word divided into two syllables or one and one or uh, both syllables have a vowel sound. Okay. Yeah, as I was uh, telling, telling you earlier, uh, we refer to it, uh, we can easily count the number of syllables by listening to the vowel sound. Okay. This is the key. We have to listen to the vowel sound. Now, in the word basket, we have the word, the vowel sound a ah, and the vowel sound e. Eh. So there is two uh, syllable basket basket on the word tennis. We have the e eh sound and the e sound, making it a two syllable word tennis. If you have any more questions regarding syllabication and vowel sound, you may send me a message or a chat message on my messenger. Also, you can ask your mom, your dad, your brother and sister on syllabication. Okay. Now moving along, we have stay. Here are sets of two syllable words, okay, in which you can do a uh, practice at home. Okay? These are the uh, commonly encountered uh, words with two syllables. Okay? Again, uh, take time to read this table. So that you can be uh, familiarized with the uh, words with two syllables and having a short vowel sound. For the first word, we have, I mean, for the first column, we have ribbon, seldom, splendid, sudden, tennis, bottle. Bramble, bubble, buckle. Okay, for the second column, we have napkin, pencil, picnic, plastic, pretzel, problem, public. Puppet and rabbit. For the third column, we have expand, expect, happen, index, insect, insult, kitten, magnet, mammal. For the last column, we have conduct, connect, contact. Content, contest, cotton, discuss, discuss, and discuss. Okay. Uh, make this table a reading exercise for you to read the words with two syllables. And with short vowel, vowel uh, properly and more constantly. All right, now let us move with our next slide. Okay. Uh, here we are going to read the places with two syllable words and with short vowel sign. Okay. Smitten is. Okay, I mean we have uh, places for the top. Okay. We have his meeting, pretty lady, uh, the puppet, contest, public servant. Okay, in the basket, 
red ribbon. Okay. So the short vowel sound, uh, the two syllable word which short vowel sound are the following. We have meeting, pretty, lady. No? They may not have the I in here, but the sound is I no? or I mean short E, lady. We have puppet, contest, public, servant, basket or basket, and then ribbon. Okay, so those are the words with two syllable and having a short vowel sound. Okay, now let us continue with our lesson. And now we have to read the following sentences with two syllable words and with short vowel sound. Okay, for the first sentence we have the kitten lost his mitten. For the second sentence we have the public joins the puppet contest. Or the third sentence we have the red ribbon is in the basket. Okay. Kindly practice reading these uh, exercises so that you can uh, be familiarized on how to read these sentences. Okay, for learning task number three, uh, choose the two syllable word that fits each sentence. Okay, write the answers on your notebook. Okay. Now, uh, okay, we have this activity where we are going to choose the correct two syllable word and put it in the sentence to make the sentence correct now uh, what you're going to do is you're going to write your answer on your notebook again you are going to write the answers only okay you don't have to copy the procedure and you don't have to copy the sentences i'm always uh, i am only going to ask you to write the answers uh for the blank words okay for number one, we have the blank hid in a burrow. Okay, burrow is a uh, hole on the ground. So, what do you think uh, on the following words below uh, refers to the blank that hides in the burrow? Okay, number two, the axes wore a blank dress. What kind of uh, dress is it? For the third sentence, we have the blank lighted the dark room. What do we use to light a dark room? Yeah, please choose from the words above. Number four, the blank of my blouse was lost. Okay, what part of the blouse was lost? Okay, number five, grandfather loved to wear a... Okay. What kind of shirt are we referring to? Okay. Okay, now for the uh, last learning task, we have learning task number four. Write in your notebook the correct syllabication of two syllable words below. Okay, example, we have Example number one, window, Okay, this is how you're going to answer it. Okay.
Okay, so here is the uh, example for a window. We have win and do. Window. Okay, you will put a uh, divider or a slash between the syllable. Okay. Okay. So I hope you have understand today's lesson. And that's it for me. Uh, please always stay safe, especially now during uh, uh, we are always uh, expecting or having rains lately uh, almost every day. No? So stay home and be safe. Yeah, and if you... Stay home and be safe. Yeah, stay home and be safe.